quite a week, folks. After firing FBI Director James Comey, the White House finds itself battling a, an historic credibility crisis at best and an obstruction of justice charge at worst. Compounding matters today, the president publicly threatened Comey as the Senate Intel Committee sought his testimony. Comey has declined for now, though he's agreed, apparently, according to one report, to appear in principle at some point. Here's what the president tweeted today. Quote, James Comey better hope that there are no tapes of our conversations before he starts leaking to the press. Now, he did put tapes in quotes, and we know in the past there's been an indication that the quotes aren't necessary for accuracy. Now, the suggestion, though, that the president is recording conversations with his FBI director is major news today and has a lot of people raising their eyebrows and wondering, does this really exist? It came amid some stunning revelations about a dinner meeting that Comey had with the president back on January 27th amid an active FBI investigation into the Trump campaign. Several sources close to Comey have told NBC News that the president asked Comey a couple of times during that meeting if he would be loyal to the president. This came after a New York Times report that Trump wanted Comey to take a loyalty pledge. Now, here's what President Trump told Fox News in an interview that was taped earlier today and will air in full tomorrow. I don't think it's inappropriate. Number Did one, you answer that question? No, no, I didn't. But I don't think it would be a bad question to ask. I think loyalty to the country, loyalty to the United States is important. You know, I mean, it depends on how you define loyalty. In a tweet, you said that there might be tape recordings. Well, that There's I can't talk about. I won't talk about that. All I want is for Comey to be honest. So there you go. Not quite a denial in either one of those charges. Here's why the January 27th date of that dinner meeting is potentially very significant. The day before that dinner meeting with Comey and the president, January 26th, the acting attorney general, Sally Yates, told the White House that the FBI had interviewed White House National Security Advisor Michael Flynn about conversations he'd had with Russian officials, which Flynn lied about to the White House. We know this because Yates disclosed this information under oath. We also told the White House counsel that General Flynn had been interviewed by the FBI on February 24th. Um, Mr. McGahan asked me how he did, and I declined to give him an answer to that. She said February 24th. She meant January 24th is our understanding. Now, here's a key question. Did the president know of the FBI's activity when he asked Comey to dinner? And he met with Comey. Is that why he wanted to meet with Comey in the first place? That's yet one of the unanswered questions. Here's more on that meeting. Yesterday, the president told my colleague Lester Holt that he told Comey that his job might be on the line. He wanted to have dinner because he wanted to stay on. And I said, I'll, you know, consider. We'll see what happens. At the same time, he wanted to know what Comey might have on him. I actually asked him, yes. I said, if it's possible, would you let me know, am I under investigation? He said, you are not under investigation. The president's claim that Comey told him he was not under investigation is now being disputed by FBI officials. But folks, by the president's own account, he essentially sent Comey two messages. Your job isn't safe, and what do you have on me? And it raises the question, was the president trying to interfere in the investigation or simply intimidate Comey or both. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.